Okay, it's time for the hit list with Brendan Ellis. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hit This, where we look at the license that should be on your music list. Now, a little while back, I talked about a little old Irish indie rock group, Two Doors Cinema Club, and they released a single called Talk, and obviously, I had to talk about it. I'm the Hit List guy, it's what I do. And after that, you can presume, when, when a band releases a single, or a bunch of singles, what comes after that? Howie, let's hop your head. After a single? After they release songs. What? A tour! A tour? And what is the tour going to advertise? How great the band is. This their new album. The new exactly! You right. got it on the head. The new album. Yes. Two Door Cinema Club has released their fourth album. It's called False Alarm. And today I'm going to decide and find out if it is a false alarm of a good album, or it's just called False Alarm, and it just happens to be a good album. So let's uh, check it out track by track. Now on my notes here, we have the first track, it's called Once. A very appropriate uh, track for song number one, Once. Now Once is extremely catchy, noticeably unique, very different. The first album was very indie summer-like. The second album was a lot more mature sound a little bit more. And the third album was very disco funk oriented. So this, you really tell off the bat with one set, it's more techno oriented. A lot of synthesizers this time around. And once is a very catchy song that emphasizes that and it does a very good job. Now the second song, how do we how do we uh, continue after once? So we make a song called Twice? No. You release you put in your lead single. That's a good way to attract people. So talk, I talked about it before on the show. I'm just gonna repeat that it's a very catchy, fun song. That music video is crazy, I checked that out. So a, a little bit techno-oriented, a nice catchy chorus, and good for radio play. If you listen to indie stations, it's gonna be a lot of that for talk. Uh, the next song is Satisfaction Guaranteed. It's a, a typical fun song, especially vocally. And it has that wild two-door cinema club a guitar that elevates the song. And it harkens back a little bit to their first album. But it's a good song. I wouldn't say it's a standout, but it definitely is solid. Song four is called So Many People. So many people, so many synthesizers. They add more synthesizers to this album here. The guitar blends pretty much perfectly with the synthesizers. Sometimes you can't even tell the two apart. Uh, vocals serve a well job for a catchy song. Again, not too much of a standout, but definitely a good listenable track. Now, Think breaks the edge because the past two songs were good, but not great. I think Think definitely is a step up. Uh, there's definitely some vocal effects. They're sort of alien, space-like. It really shows that this album is different, they're doing something new, and they're experimenting and having some fun with that. So it was definitely a highlight for me. Now, number six, Nice to See You. For the sixth song, it's about six minutes long. It uh, starts out with a, a sort of long intro with prominent bass, echoing synths, and otherwise it's a pretty decent song. And it seems typical. And then the movie, not the movie, the, the song throws all your expectations out the window with the first rap verse of the band's history. Yes, they get a rapper, and he raps, and you know what? That's a good way to spice up the song and the album. I'm surprised. Rap works for Tour Cinema Club, so take notes for album number five, guys. Okay, uh, number seven is Break. It has a twangy, dreamlike guitar, soulful piano, and a vocal performance that's very more down-to-earth. It has a perfect instrumental balance, and hints of string. It's short, a very short song, but it's a very sweet song. So Break was definitely a good break for me. Uh, Dirty Air was a song they were heavily advertising before. Uh, the vocals go from sort of all Elvis to a very loud, uh, typical chorus of two-door two cinema club. And it's a lot of fun. And speaking of fun, you got track number nine, Satellite, that's your second signal, uh, single. And it's very techno, very wild, and it's 
has a great music video that's very harkens back to Star Trek. So all around very good. And last but not least, we have number ten already gone. Um, we hear the lead singer's signature falsetto that we've come to know and love. Finally, it's on the album. A little late, but better late than never. And it's a solid song, a bit slower, and it breaks down the album. So all in all, a lot more techno this time around, some synths, but it's a lot of fun. You see that the band is experimenting. They want to do something different, and that's what it's all about in music, making good music, and they definitely succeed. Not their best album, not their worst. Check it out. That's False Alarm. Okay, great job, Randy Ellis with False Alarm.